we're back. And this time, not with a bad microphone. Remember that? Oh, shit? They're oh, the recording. Oh, yeah. The recording started, but the screen sharing is not. Oh, yeah. I, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Unless, uh, I'll, I'll just do the same thing I did in the Reborn session. Just send you screenshots. Oh, God. Um, uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, that's the uh-oh. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, all right, now we're good. Yeah, that screen share took okay. a second. It just had to crank a little bit. I, I thought the problem was that you were in front of the fountain, and I was like, oh, no, it reset the episode. No, I didn't. But obviously K is there with you, so... Wait a second. She has a key in her hair. Do you think that it was her actually in Smash today? Uh, probably not. Uh, because it was Sora. So. Uh, oh, well, you know, fine print and whatnot. It might be her weapon. Maybe, maybe she snuck it in somehow. Even though it has Mickey Mouse's face on it, and you think if they spent four hundred thousand dollars for twelve seconds of Mickey Mouse face, you know. Yeah. <sighs> it's just a. It's just a bait. Chased out like a bunch of pair of peasants. Mr. Edgeworth. You butchered the very first line. I'm impressed. Yes, Kay. There's something even thieves should never steal. Do you know what that is? Lives. You really shouldn't steal anything. However, I'll bite. What shouldn't a thief steal? Well, first off, get your fucking yaoi finger away from my general Lutley. Yeah, here you go. A life. It's too heavy of a burden on your soul to get away with. Ever. That's something we can agree on. Well said, Kay. No matter what we may try, murder is the one crime that can never truly be hidden. And I intend to prove that by my own hands. When I apprehend Your own the giant, myself. massive hands. Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna work extra hard to be a good assistant. Let's go. I'll try extra hard even though I don't have giant hands. Still never said she could be my assistant. Uh, I'm sure I'm just going to drop the issue. Anyway, I need to turn down the game a little bit because, uh... Another byproduct of me upping the ever living shit out of my general mic. Or my headset. Volume. There we go. I have to go to 2% now. First thing we should do is locate the real scene of the murder. Mr. Edgeworth! Uh, that's you. I thought I, had t I thought I had time for a nugget. I did not. Detective Gumshoe. Mr. Edgeworth, the stadium. Hurry, sir. This is supposed to be hush hush, but they found a witness at the stadium. A witness. You, what are we talking about leaving your assigned post? Ah, uh, the jig is up. Mr. Hedgeworth remembers that I'm always rooting for you, so go get him, sir. Oh, they're gonna drag him away. He's yeah. a walk. Those detectives are like they're enjoying themselves. It's not all fun and games, Kay. Now then, let's head to the stadium and meet this witness. I swear to God, it's gonna be like old bag. Oh look, Payne took his granddaughter out to, you know, the the fair. That's the. Oh my God, is it Lada? Mmm. <laughs> that's not Lada's van. I guess it does. I guess it's not. There was a witness here. You know who that could be, though? Yeah, I don't see anyone. In the old bag? But yeah. Oh, God, it is, right? It totally is. Well, she would say edgy poo, so it's not yet. Oh, uh, I guess I guess she would, but it's somebody who knows them. It's Edgeworth. Oh, shit, there she is. Oh, my God. Oh, look at her. She's cute in this game. Wait, did you see her yeah. socks? I did not see her socks. She has, like, striped socks. This is... This is the best uh, surprise uh, in any of these games. <laughs> this cameo. Well, since you voiced the uh, other, did now go ahead. Um. Okay. Long time no see. You are Miss Emma Sky, correct? This girl is the younger sister of my former superior, Lana Sky. Years ago, we stood in the same courtroom together as witness and prosecutor. But I thought she had gone to Europe to study forensics. Can't believe you remember me, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course I do. How have you been? You look like you've been in good spirits. Are you still studying abroad? You bet. More than anything, I want to investigate crime scenes scientifically. I've been studying nonstop every day to become a top-notch forensic scientist. But it's spring break now, so I thought I'd come back for a bit. I see. 
Alright, K, get you lost. I have a real assistant. See, like. Oh, wow. You talk. I almost didn't recognize you. You've really grown in these past few years. Please don't tease me, Mr. Edgeworth. I know I still have a long way to go. But I'm gonna be a super forensic scientist someday. You'll see. You seem to know Mr. Edgeworth really well. Are you two acquaintances? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Emma Sky. Nice to meet you. I'm studying abroad now to be a forensic scientist. How about you? Wow, that's a great dream. My name's Kay Faraday. <laughs> I'm training to become an unstoppable great thief. A great thief? Don't think too hard on it, Emma. It's not worth the trouble. In any case, we have much to catch up on. Bet we do. So why are you here, Emma? Well, I just happened to decide to come back home for spring break. And then I heard that you'd come back too, so I raced on over here. I had really wanted to welcome you back at the airport, but I just missed you. And how exactly did you know I would be here? Through the power of science, naturally. Never underestimate what science can do for you. I use these to track your footprints and I pulled them straight to you. Holy shit. This set is the greatest. It's so wonderfully scientific. How do you even have that much fucking luminol spray? <laughs> I bleed luminol. You spray this chemical on the ground and then you shine the special light on it. Sing! The footprints light up like an electrified noble gas in a glass tube. I don't know if that's true. It's almost like magic, scientifically speaking. Forensic science has never seemed more ominous to me than at this very moment. <laughs> These two interact a lot. Like, really well. It's, it's a shame that you don't get to see yeah. them interact too often. And I'd like to ask yeah. you about what you've witnessed. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you not the witness Detective Gumshoe told us about? Well, I did get a call from Detective Gumshoe earlier. He was practically yelling at me. Mr. Edgeworth needs your scientific doohickeys right now, pal, he said. What was that man thinking? Or rather, not thinking. Let me guess, there's been a murder, right? Yes, welcome to my every other Thursday. Yes, unfortunately. There's a sudden glint in her eyes. <laughs> I need to keep my mind focused on the witness. Now, where did that person go? I guess I should present shit. She needs to take a look at all my dumb trash I've picked up. The symbol of a prosecutor, right? But I don't think I've ever seen you wear it, though. Well, I'm not as enthusiastic about wearing it as you are with your pin badges. I know, right? I mean, I really wanted to put even a few more on today. Oh, hey, I like yours, Kay. Do you have any extras? Sorry, but there's only one of these in the world, and it's proof that I am the great thief. Now, if I calculate this out scientifically using my time scheduler... Aha! I can definitely see all of the attractions before the park closes. Science sure is useful, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm not even going to bother asking Emma how she calculated that. Seeing the blue badger sure brings back memories. Yes, indeed. I remember it like it was yesterday. That was really something, huh? A red-hot courtroom battle between the two of us. I don't think it was quite as dramatic as that. <laughs> Scientifically calculating and thinking critically about this, and putting it in a way that transmits the feeling that I understand. Whew, done. She makes it sound like she knows what she's talking about, but she really has no idea. Admittedly, I'm slightly confused by what she just rattled off. Imagine if this was like Deltarune, and literally every single item had an interaction with everyone. Yeah. You know, I need, I need you to understand that Emma Sky is, like, one of my favorite characters. Oh, I love Emma Sky, too. She's amazing. Yeah. It's also... Par part of it, too, is that, like... Is that, like, uh, when you get to older Emma Sky... Well, I don't want to be too, like, self-complimentary. Yeah. But, but just, like, when it comes... Like, like, I look kind of... Like, not in, like, a... Well, I guess Discord didn't want to transmit that. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, when you died, I was afraid that you thought I meant, like, young Emma Sky attractive, and you were just like, nope. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I know who you mean. Uh, Genuinely, like, the adult Emma Sky is, like, my waifu for the series. Like, she's super yeah, freaking cute. Um, but, but my point was that, like, with, with, like, hair and face shape and everything, like, I, I feel like she looks a tiny bit like me. And then, also, I would wear that wardrobe if I had money. <laughs> so... It's that too. 
is that yeah. like like similar hair and everything and just like also the fact that like... she's like a little happy green bean who's just like i'm gonna study forensics and do a bunch of weird creepy shit as a result yeah now yeah i can't say i'm literally her because i don't fucking want to do any of that shit <laughs> but... <laughs> um but it's also like the socks is like that's not surprising at all because it's just like yep i mean she wears everything i want to wear of course she has fucking tie highs on i assume this is another badger mobile yeah, but it's a different color than the Blue Badger's car. Yes, this is the Retina Searing Pink model. Hmm. What's that off in the distance? This game is just a collection of all your favorite characters, though, I've noticed. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is Old Bag. Oh, hey, it's the Pink Badger. Badger, get! Badger, 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 Badger. What does she see in these silly things? <laughs> All right. Tough love, huh? I think this badger has something to say to you, Mr. Edroy. Are you by chance the witness I've been searching for? Who does that? Sorry, I don't speak bad. No, that's just the badger dance. I don't speak badger dance. All right, what's the tell? There was a tell with the police one. Yeah. Hmm. Tough love, bow. That's just the design. I don't know. Oh no. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ah, I can't say being stuff inside that stuffy head anymore. All you your favorite characters. Your... No, why her? Why here? Why now? I first met this woman three years ago. She was a witness in one of my cases. She has since gone out of her way to pop up unexpectedly and cause me great grief. Edgy poo. Why could you understand what I was trying to tell you? I mean, really. I was trying so hard to keep the kid's dreams alive by staying in character. But you could pick up on what I was trying to convey to you. I'm sick and tired of this roundabout way of talking, so I'm just going to be your direct. I had a bad feeling before, but this just made it official. Today has gone beyond the typical not my day into the realm of waking nightmare. So you're a friend of Mr. Edgeworth too, Miss Pink Badger? You could say that, but right now I'm just the Pink Badger, dearie. She may look the part, but I know better than to trust my eyes around this woman. My name is Wendy Oldbag. But you can call me Wendy or Granny, whatever suits your fancy. Well, at least she seems like she's acting nice for once. Nice to meet you, Miss Old Bag. I'm Kay Faraday. Hmm. What do I care about you, young whippersnapper like you? Yeesh, I was just trying to be polite. <coughs> what you were saying? Oh, well, you know. Weren't you a security guard at one of the Gatewater hotels the last time we met? Hmm. I go where I'm needed, like literally all the other characters. I'm very good at what I do. I like the youth of today. I, I'm just flabbergasted that everyone has the money to be wherever the fuck they want. Oh, yeah. This is, I swear they have, like, murder senses. This reminds me of, yeah. uh, of Gash Bell, Zatch Bell, that show I talk about sometimes. In the show, yeah, sometimes. They're, they're, they have these demon children, and they have, like, this sixth sense to know where other demon children are, and that's the way the show explains how they keep walking into each other. It's like that. These people have murder senses. Y yeah, or, or like, in, in JoJo, they say they're, like, stand users are attracted to it, It's literally users. this. I get caught in all the time to film when there aren't enough hands. But enough about me, Edgy Poo. I'm thoroughly dejected right now. I finally get the chance to see you again, and here you are talking with two young girls. Men are all the same. It doesn't matter how old they get. They're simply for with young girls. Why the other day I happened to see you? Notice me. Got to arrange with a 16 year old. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go uh, back. You seem to attract all sorts of interesting people, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, not my intention. Okay, please, I'm begging you. By all means, do not provoke her any further. <laughs> I couldn't read the rest of that. I saw the part about. 16 year old. Yeah. <laughs> They're really stepping up her ramblings, I guess. Aren't you forgetting about something, Mr. Edgeworth? This person could be the witness. Honestly, I hope she isn't, but I don't think fate is going to be so kind today. I saw what happened! Damn it. I even saw the exact moment it happened! How's that? Double damn it. So it's true, she is the witness. Triple dog damn it. Uh, I don't suppose I can afford to ignore the old bag. Yes, it was a little while ago. I saw it happen right in front of me. The moment of the murder. 
You mean to say that you witnessed someone being killed right before your eyes? Sounds like a pretty important piece of testimony to me. Please tell me she's just incorrect about this. Oh, 100%. Like, like she's not even Has a witness. Has she ever once been correct? Well, she's been a witness and wrong about the details. I hope she's just not actually a witness. I came to the same take a short break. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other in that area. Suddenly, there was a loud gunshot and the person who was shot fell to the ground. It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you what. Looks like we hit the jackpot, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, I can't afford to ignore what she has to say, unfortunately. Let's say unfortunately you talked on to the end supposed to mean edgy poo. Well, anyway, let's see what we can find out from this little old lady. Hey, uh, you want to come over here, Emma, and just, like, you know, do this and say, okay. <laughs> She's just like, nope! <laughs> you mean you took a break from being the pink badger? You may not think it, but it's hard work keeping kids' dreams alive. You smell of sweat, your hip creaks with pain, you even get to dream about work. I thought I had time to eat. That's the kind of story that would scar a kid for life, you know. That's why I chose to come here to take my break, but with the whip sour. I'm play playing the part of the dead badger in front of a bunch of kids. So what did you see while you, the pink badger, were resting? Oh yeah, that well. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other in that area. You saw two men. Can you describe them for me? Look like the average Joes. Completely interesting and not worth fawning over. One of them was a blue badger, so, you know. I'm telling you, they were so boring, I don't even remember much beyond that. But did they have any special features? Anything you can recall would be useful, helpful. But, oh my, don't tell me you're jealous of those two men. Hey, she's right. You do seem pretty worked up over them, Mr. Hitchcock. Stop talking about my gayness. It's getting old. I'm not worked up over anyone, and I'm not jealous. It's all right, Edgy Poo. Those two are just foals compared to a stallion like you. <laughs> uh, God. You just, uh, you just get the, an immediate text message from, like, Phoenix and just get out of there. I thought so little of them that I lost interest the instant I laid eyes on them. So you said one of them was in a blue badger outfit. I don't actually remember. Sure, one of them was theoretically. Like we're saying, it's Meekins. So I'm guessing that that's something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're claiming to have seen the exact moment in which the murder took place. Absolutely, that gun made a terrible racket when it was fired. You didn't try to go help the person that got shot? Only one person, you smart alchemy brat. What could I have done? But I took off as soon as I could find could to find someone who could help. Two men, one bullet. It's all consistent with what we found from the body. So there wasn't exactly a lot of new information to go on in your testimony. Well, if I saw the guy again, I'm sure I could identify him for you. I mean, how do you expect me to remember anything without something to jog my memory? Self-centered, aren't we? Well, it was somewhat useful. Her testimony also presents us with a new problem. I love that... I love that Kay will just shit on anyone and everyone in a conversation. She doesn't have a side. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's her personality. Mr. Edgeworth. What? So, about this new problem... What is that giant grin on your face for? Do you want to show you... Do you want me to show you something real nice? No. No, thank you. Don't be so mean. I swear it's something you're going to like. What is that gadget you're holding? Do 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 inspect your gadget. Uh, what you see before you is the sacred weapon of a great thief. Uh, I should have known it would be worthless. Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? What do you think now? What is it doing? It's projecting something into the air? Yeah, well, apparently according to the movie, that's what our courts do, so it shouldn't be crazy to you. I'm gonna input the necessary information to run the simulation now. This is like when they do that shit in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the holograms and the dual discs, and people are just like, what the f- how is it doing this? Once I'm done, I'll increase the size of the projection to its maximum size. Dark skies of evening when no other bird dares take wing. One alone remains all-seeing. Now witness the true power of a real modern-day Robin Hood. Scoozy. What is this? 
This is a recreation of the murder based on the info I inputted into Little Thief. Little Thief? I dare say you're taking the Robin Hood thing a little bit too far. <laughs> little Thief is actually meant to be a simulator for me to plan my thefts. But I suppose if I used it like this... Let's see... Miss Oldpack said the two men were facing each other. And then a gunshot rang out, and the victim fell to the ground. Bang. Ah, oh, so with this we can inspect the crime scene as if it was the past. See? So what do you think? I have to say I'm impressed by the technology thieves have access to these days. Well, it is the super secret weapon of the mighty Yatagarasu. Indeed. That's why I'm showing Wendy, Oldbag, and Emma Sky. That's right. <laughs> oh, but if there isn't enough information or if someone's out of place... No one would believe Wendy, Oldbag, and Emma Sky would use it uh, by testing Luminol Spray on it. That's all she cares about. <laughs> the recreation could, recreation could come out a little strange. In other words, I can use this to authenticate the validity of the witness's testimony. You got it. You really catch on quick, Mr. Edgeworth. Right now, this simulation is a recreation of that witness's testimony. So for now, I should re-examine every little nook and cranny. And not be satisfied <laughs> until... And if I find anything illogical or strange, I can then ask for clarification. Feel free to examine anything in this simulation in the way you always do. You can even present evidence when you find a contradiction. To a simulation. Yeah. Yes. And if you find something, I've got a little thief with me, so you just let me know, okay? Weird. I like it. They really are here. What is this? Some sort of new attraction? Amazing! Just feel the power of science. This is weird. The silhouette of the killer with his gun at the ready. Hey, is it not possible to recreate the face of the killer? Well, I can't exactly input what we don't know into Little Thief. She has a point. Fucking genius Edgeworth over here. According to the testimony, the victim fell to the ground here. That's right, but... But if that's the case, then we've already found our first contradiction. Huh? What? Where? If this is the real scene of the crime, there's something missing that should be here. Which piece of evidence shows the missing item? Blood? <laughs> um... I mean, sand could just be dusted over. Um... I think it's gonna be blood, so then Emma could be like, I got luminol spray! Yeah, something like that. Uh... This, I guess? Yeah, I guess it'd be on another note. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good to me. This is the contradiction. Eh? Something wrong with my recreation? This is the real scene of the crime. Something specific should be here. If you think back, how could we deduce that the other crime scene was not the real one? Holy shit, I get you want to seem intelligent. Just tell me. I get what's missing now. There's no blood on the ground here either, right? Right. The fact that there is no blood here cast doubt into the witness's testimony. Andy Pooh, how could you doubt me like that? You call me a liar. I know what I saw, and I saw the victim get shot down. You know, I don't think she's lying, Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, I can't think of a reason why she would lie to me. <laughs> really? Really? Really, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean, she's annoying, but she's not, like, a liar. She would absolutely make a lie in order to get an excuse to talk to Edgeworth. Oh, well, sure, sure. In that case, maybe there's another explanation for the distinct lack of blood. Music is fucking annoying. Anyway. I kind of like it. Hmm. You might... Oh, wait. Was the victim in a costume? Yeah. If you think about it that way... It's not possible that the victim was wearing a costume. So you really think that Mr. Deacon was one of the kidnappers? I think we can reasonably assume that there's a very good chance that he was. And that if he was shot while he was inside one of those stolen costumes. Then Mr. Deacon's blood would be inside the costume instead of on the ground. I mean, there would be a hole, but, you know, that could be dusted off. Precisely. Now, if only we could prove that the victim was wearing a costume. You'd think it'd be pretty easy if we could find some footprints. But the problem is finding them, since there doesn't seem to be any around. Footprints, huh? I wonder how we can go about finding some of those. Edgeworth! 
Forensics, Edgeworth. I can examine feet, Mr. Edgeworth. Can I please can I please examine yours? Mr. Edgeworth. Bonk. Emma, about the method you were talking about for finding uh, footprints. <laughs> Ah, finally, my expert knowledge in feet is needed. Yes, well, can you detect and trace even partial feet? Leave it to me. My cutting-edge detection kit can find anything. Especially feet. Very well. If you could please analyze the footprints in this area. Okay. Stand back and witness the power of science at work. Is what I would say if I didn't already do it, because... God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God she does well, it for me. Hey, I found something. Look, here, right Mr. Edgeworth, here. hold the luminol bottle. Just fucking do your job already. I don't know how to use it. You bring it everywhere. <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh, that's right. Here, put these special glasses on, Mr. Edgeworth. These footprints here were definitely left by a badger costume. Judging by the way the prints are... Oh, that's you. By the way the prints are layered, those seem to be the newest. Yeah, we can conclude that the victim was definitely wearing a costume at the time. All right. Okay, in that case, I'll update Little Thief simulation parameters. I can't wait to see what we find out from this new Well, first off, I'm going to the old bag and being like, the fuck you say that they were so uninteresting? They're wearing a costume. <laughs> I don't know, Blue Badger, I mean, like... Oh, it's just complete. All right. So the victim was wearing a costume when you died. And with that, we should be one step closer <clears throat> to the truth, right? I see the recreation has changed in accordance with the new information. Maybe closer, but now something else has caught my attention. What do you want? Your testimony, naturally. I'd like to hear it one more time, if you please. Game the same. Take a short break. As I was resting, I happened to glance over and I saw two men facing each other in that area. Suddenly, there was a loud gunshot, and the person who shot fell to the ground. It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you. Oh, does this mean that Miss Oldback's testimony is a contradiction Yes, in and it? I believe our best course of action is to compare it with your recreation. See, I just knew Little Thief would be of help. Now, uh, let's see if we can pull more info from Miss Oldback to put into the recreation. For that, we must first find the contradiction in her testimony. Alright. Uh, I think it's the next line, or... You saw two men, can you describe them? Can I, like, get this in the testimony? I guess you can't tell someone's gender if they're in a suit. So you yeah. could just... That could be the reason. It's because it was blue. Racist. It's not racist, it's... that's the gen... <laughs> Gender, what's the word for that? I don't fucking know. She, she, she just explodes. You kids nowadays. Anyway. Two men, how'd you know the gender of the two people involved? I went to their gender reveal party! She is cursed. <laughs> Seeing as how the victim was wearing a costume at the time. Ooh, that's a good face. I just asked. Can we have that as an email? I mean, ah! No, I don't want to see her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have tough love as an emote? Maybe. Furthermore, I have another matter I'd like to inquire about. I'd very much like to know why you failed to mention the costume in your testimony. Ah! I'm beginning to doubt if you really witnessed the murder at all. But I'm telling you, I really did see it. I saw it with my own very eyes. From a seat in the second tier. The second tier. Hey, didn't you say you saw it right in front of you earlier? That was, you know, I was using the phrase in a metaphorical sense. Uh, I see our witness still has a screw loose. In the metaphorical sense. Of course you see it's right in the second floor reserved for hotshot VIPs. Which is exactly why I go there now and again to take a nap. Can't see how you could have gotten a good look from there. It's so high up. Were you able to see even the victim's costume from way up there? Well, I know I saw two people. But I couldn't really see what they looked like because they were in the stage shadow. You know, how old is Old Bag? 
One sec. Can I, like, look at that? I think there's profiles in this game, right? Yeah, I, I remember there being profiles. How old are you, Miss Oldbag? Oh, right. It's, okay. it's that gag. Is it? Yeah, it just doesn't say. Well, wait. Well, how old's Emma Sky in this game? Like, 17, 18? Okay. She, just, she, she still looks, like, just as baby as she does in yeah. Space Attorney 1. It is like an insult that Meekins is older than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gumshoe is about a year older than Kiero right now. Look at that. Look at that boy. I'm not close to any of these. I, I guess I'm like one year older than Meekins. Oh God. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> I'm only a year older than him. I'm barely more mature <laughs> than he is. Oh no. <laughs> But yeah, my, my point is, why is she keep getting all these jobs? She clearly is like 70-something, probably. She could probably file for retirement. Uh, it's because she knows that she'll run into Edgeworth. Yeah, that's a good point. My son isn't what it used to be, you know. Not like when I was young. I used to be calling ego. I could spot people from 100 feet away, and they noticed me in a flash, and they tried to move. It either was careful or judgmental. What? Uh, let's just return to our investigation, shall we, Kay? You got it. We're in the stages show. Stop. Uh, I can do more footprint analysis. Please, please, please ask. Thanks to you, I'm able to proceed with my investigation once again. Thank you. I was nothing. I'm just glad that science and I could be of service. Pretty amazing how we could see the footprints. So what's the secret behind that thing? Oh, you want to know? Oh, you want to know? Um, here, you can read the manual. <coughs> Aha. Very interesting. <coughs> so if I do this, I can avoid leaving footprints. You can't seriously be trying to use the information to our advantage as a thief. Wait. That's, that's, actually, that's actually funny. <laughs> what is this? I thought the joke was going to be that she just, like, didn't want to read. But no, that, that's good. This new silhouette of the victim in a costume. The silhouettes can change depending on the information. Oh. The silhouettes can change depending on the information I input. But a little thief can recreate more than just people. So investigate away. We may even find more info with which to make a more accurate sim. What a line. Alright, sounds like a plan. Sims 3 patch note. It's a silhouette of a killer with his gun at the ready. Okay, is it not possible to recreate the face of the killer? Uh, same shit. It looks like they broke the stage down. Don't know what got done downloading. So that's nice. I guess this means they're done for the day. Or maybe it's because a different show is scheduled to start its run tomorrow. The Gavinerys Park. Yep. Actually, do the Gavinerys play? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. That'd be nifty. Thrifty. It's got something with the stage shadow, I'm just not really sure what. Like, obviously, like, the stage shadow isn't over here. So, you know, it depends on, like, when the stage was taken down, you know? Um, check your logic. I think I only have the two things. You, you should have... T yeah, but stage was packed up in... I mean, it uh, literally just might be Okay, this. that makes sense. That woman's testimony is to be believed. The murder occurred before the stage was broken down. You want me to input that bit of info into Little Thief? Yes, if you please. Okay. I can input it exactly how it was broken down. Yeah, this is, this is some bullshit logic right here. Yeah, this is some pretty bullshit logic. Um, Yeah, you might want to put that that guy on top of the stage there. There's clearly... A contradiction here. Please stop stealing my lines. I'm taking so long to do oh, them. Oh, come on. It wasn't that hard to see. Fuck you. Even for a layman like me. 
I suppose. In any case, it's not possible for the killer to have stood here in that way. Because there was a very real stage set up here in the spot at the time. Yeesh, I told you I got it. Do you feel the need to explain it? Finally, someone comments on it. Yes, well, in any case, we still need to resolve this unusual situation. Isn't it obvious? The killer was on top of the stage, naturally. Right, Miss Oldbag? Yeah, I remember now. The killer's standing on top of the stage. See? Now let me update the info in the simulation. <laughs> We here. A bunch of hooligans running amok, I see. Agent Lang, how nice of you to join us. Well, I can't have you going around messing up my crime scenes. Agent Lang, we've discovered that the real scene of the crime is here at the stadium. I see. Thanks. For what? I'm just trying to show you my appreciation for all the time you saved me. Who knew that such a strange little toy could recreate a crime scene like that? Little thief is not a toy. You too. It's a goblet, not a chalice. Sir. The the one elbows the other guy. Come on, say the line. Sir. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> set up the <laughs> drum set. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, fucking. And there you have it. You see. Big boys like me don't need silly toys, little girl. <sighs> now this is a recreation. So what? Do you still intend to assert that Officer Meekins is the killer? Of course. Even knowing that the crime took place here doesn't let him off the hook. I'm clearly evil. <laughs> I have an evil grin. <laughs> this is the real scene of the crime. Officer Meekins lay in wait for the victim on top of the stage. I mean, I say that, but then also there's, uh... There's, uh... Von Karma, who has evil grins, too, but she's not evil. Yeah. She's playful evil. Yeah, that's, that's the fun kind. When the victim finally showed up, she shot her from on high. That's the truth your little recreation has showed. She's also attractive uh, evil, so, you know. I mean, Lang, I mean, Lang's Lang like a different a type of attractive evil for a certain yeah, type of person. Yeah. Not for me, mm -hmm. though. Not not for me, either. Before we go to accuse Officer Meekins of the crime. Now, Meekins, though. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most likely suspect we've got, especially given the situation with his gun. Well, even if he is a killer, at least my recreation was on the mark. <laughs> you see, thank you for your understanding, my little crow girl. Yeah, I'm not some common crow. I'm the Yadagrasu, the Raven of Legend. Thanks for the confession. Get her, boys. Unfortunately, the conclusion has to be tested, so let's see how well it holds up. <clears throat> for an international detective, I'm surprised he hasn't heard of the Yadagrasu. Well, he just doesn't think she's telling the truth. Looks like we found the real crime scene first. Ha! Huh. Brag all you want, but we don't have that time, that... Fuck. We don't have all the free time, unlike you two. Heh <laughs> you know what you remind me of? A dog licking his wounds as he whimpers home. Well, I guess I should be thankful for all the time you saved me. ZZ. That's how we say thanks in my country. You're welcome. I hope he realizes we didn't do all this for him. But I'm <laughs> here now, <laughs> so I'll be taking over. As I was saying, this is where the crime took place. I love that Edgeworth is polite enough to be like, well, well you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Lying in wait. How did Officer Meekins even know the victim was going to come here? Simple. He was investigating the kidnappers, right? And while he was doing so, he came to understand the victim, Mr. Deacon's movements. Ha! <laughs> and why would the good officer want to ambush a ki and kill a kidnapper? You mean his motive? Who knows and who cares? You can find all that out for yourself when you talk to him in jail. Hm. You have no respect for the order of law. Don't get me wrong, but I need more than there's no motive to convince me otherwise. 
He's right. The lack of a motive is a rather weak argument by itself. So the officer lay in wait on top of the stage. And when the victim finally showed, he shot him on high. <clears throat> so you agree with how our recreation turned out? He could have been under the stage. Like I said, mm. I'm grateful that you were able to save me some time. All right, but we still don't know why he chose to wait on top of the stage area. Who cares? Maybe he wanted to become the Blue Badger. What's to say he didn't see the stage and decided to put on a little Badger stage show of his own? Maybe there's a completely different reason. What does it matter? It still doesn't change the fact that Officer Meekins stood up on that stage and shot the victim on the ground below. <clears throat> it's got to be something with like the angle of the bullets. Wounds. So you honestly believe that what you're saying is really what occurred? Hey, you're the ones who came up with the scenario. Are you saying you doubt yourselves? <clears throat> Touche. Unfortunately, Agent Lang's conclusion does not contradict with our recreation. Hmm, does that mean it all went down just as he says? No, not quite. I wonder if what we had recreated earlier was the whole truth. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. So let's take a quick peek at this just to see, you know. Yeah. Uh, Gunshot wound. Entry point. Okay, yep, yep. Entry, lower right abdomen, exit point, right shoulder. Yeah, that's clearly from. Yeah, that, that's aiming up. Yep. So. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, keep going. Uh huh. Yeah, that that's yeah. Not so fast. Objection. I'm terribly sorry, Agent Lang. Huh. I should have warned you that our recreation is incomplete. You cut in quite unexpectedly, after all. What's that supposed to mean? You said that the victim was shot by the killer from up above, correct? I hate to break it to you, but that's not possible. Huh? Why not? Recall Mr. Deacon's body, specifically where the gunshot wound was located. <laughs> Actually, I didn't get that good of a look. Well, well then. The bullet entered Mr. Deacon in his abdominal region and exited his right shoulder. How do you know it wasn't the other way around? Shut up. Um, I'm a sky runs in. Ballistic markings! Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun! This is more consistent than the angled shot from beneath the victim. Yeah. Then... Yeah, so recreation had the victim being shot in an angle from above. A clear contradiction. You're discounting your own conclusions. No, this one point is the one only flaw. This was the mistaken parameter of a recreation. Um... Yes, the locations of the killer and the victim were wrong. Oh, I get it. I see what you're trying to say. I believe the killer and the victim were standing opposite to what we initially thought. It was the victim who was on top of the stage as he was being shot by the killer. Oh. That's not good for Meekins at all. Thanks. The footprints are badger footprints. Yeah. And Meekins had a badger suit. It is, because he's on... The stage, as opposed to on the ground. Yeah, but like, Meekins also has a badger suit, right? We only think that the that the killed person has it because no blood and badger suit yeah. footprints. But the footprints don't apply here anymore. Mm, I see what you're saying. If this is what happened, it also explained the position of the gunshot wounds. But then, what about the footprints? Since footprints don't lie, we can assume then that the killer also wore a costume. Okay, I'll try using that data instead. This is a fucking ridiculous... This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the fact that both were the killer and the victim were in costumes, I'd say it was a killing between the two kidnappers. That would be the most natural conclusion. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Agent Lang? No, you haven't proved anything. <laughs> well, he would have to agree, at least with our conclusion. Well done, Mr. Prosecutor. But that alone doesn't clear Officer Meekins of the crime. I see you taking another good look at the tire marks over there. The three marks are indicative of the Blue Badger Mobile. That story Officer Meekins told us about the shop on wheels getting stolen was just a lie. He drove the Blue Badger Mobile here and committed the crime. 
Then he used the car to move the body to the garage in the Wild Wild West area. You believe he moved the body with the car? That's right. It was Officer Meekins himself who pointed out to us that that's why he... What? That's why... Fuck. I don't know what he said. <laughs> I'm reading too fast. The three tired tread marks are very telling, however. Is the blue badger mobile the only way capable of creating such a pattern? Another bit of proof. Like, like, Lang, the pink one is right there. <laughs> I'm colorblind. I can't see the color pink. That'll come up in case five. But, but then that would be a good one. But then that'd just be a second blue one. Yeah, well. Very visual. Maybe only people who still believe in Santa Claus can see it. Oh. Edgeworth, why do you still believe in Santa Claus? He's real, damn it. Has he? He has to be. <laughs> Scientific evidence and luminol spray prove it. Shut up, Emma. <laughs> the tire marks. Yeah, the tire marks. The ones behind the stage. Oh. That's what that was. I thought people were just doing donuts. They were hidden up until now by the various pieces of a stage equipment. As for what they were made, why they were made, they must have been made after the rain had begun to fall, correct? Yes, and then probably around the same time as when the killer's footprints were made. The tires on the Blue Badger Mobile probably got pretty muddy because of that. I say it's the Blue Badger Mobile because, well, that's pretty obvious, too. <sighs> three tire marks. I would have to agree that the Blue Badger Mobile has three tires. Of course. The only thing in the park that could have made those marks is the roving shop. Are you forgetting that there are, in fact, three of them? You can't simply ignore the pink and the proto badger mobiles, Agent Lang. Of course, I didn't say it couldn't be either of those two. But I see no reason for dragging them up just to complicate things. It's right there. Ah, uh, shit, you're right. That story Officer Meekins told us about the shop on wheels getting stolen was just a lie. Of course, you have some sort of proof that it was all a lie, correct? Of course not. Well, that was blunt. But suppose it is a lot. It would explain a lot of things. I guess movements and his whereabouts. This would not hold up in a court of law. No. Lang doesn't care. So you still claim that the tire marks belong to the Blue Badger Mobile? Must have arrived on the scene after the ground became wet with rain. Officer Meekins committed the murder. Hmm. Okay, then. I mean... So, besides the Blue Badger Mobile, there are other ways the body could have been moved. Recall what the Wild Wild West area looked like. Only the Blue Badger Mobile and Mr. Deacon's body were in the garage. I say that's proof. Also, the pink car was already gone. I suppose it's one way to look at that. That would be the logical conclusion. However, my experience tells me that the truth is usually not so easily found. Is there some sort of problem with Agent Lang's statement in regards to that scene? Looks like the only thing that car was selling was death, not dreams. Well, if what Agent Langs believes true to be true. What? The three tired shred marks are very telling, however. Is the Blue Badger Mobile the only thing capable of creating such a pattern? Um. So. What else do we even have in here? <laughs> uh, Blue Badger Bible might show it or something. No, not really. With the gun! Oh shit, I mean nothing. Um... The, f the fucking cryptid one still... Yeah, the, the Proto Badger oh. is terrifying still. It is terrifying. That's the point. 100%. I, but I forget every time that it exists. They're like, all right, guys, we're going to design four blue badgers. Uh, what kind of direction you want? I don't care. Just make them. All right, here's the regular one. Nice. Here's the girl. Of course, of course. Here's the cool one. <laughs> nice one, Jimmy. Here's mine. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We're out of time, too. Uh, we have to use yeah, this Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, hey. Sherry? Yes. 
are you okay with this one um being the killer? That's the most flattering thing anyone's ever said. Okay, Jerry, sure. <laughs> good job. Good. good. Ah. Thanks. I put a lot of time into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. All right. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Can Can I have a raise? You You can have my house. Please, just don't. Jerry, I'm already here. I'm already your son. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait, what a twist. D does the, um, does the mobile, um, evidence have, like, say anything the specific? The very first for? badger. Uh, does the what? The, the, the badger mobile, does it have anything in, like, the description that might be important? <laughs> no, okay. I think it says something to do with the scene of the, of the crime, because, like, Edgeworth said in red text is Lang's if you look, interpretation of the crime. The spot yeah. for the garage on the Blue Badger mobile where it's parked, it literally has like the Blue Badger face. While the yeah. Pink Badger is there and is parked over top of the man's dead body. Or would be, would be parked there. Yeah, I pointed that out earlier, but I don't think that's what we... Yeah. Um, can you check the crime scene notes? I didn't have to post the crime scene notes for a third time. <laughs> Summary? Um, what's the first page? Loss of gum, blood from a gunshot wound. Uh... Can, can you do the last um, press again? This one? Yeah. Besides the blue badge mobile, the early spot that could have been moved. Her call was in the Wild West area. Only the blue badge mobile and Mr. Deacon's body were in the garage and say that's true. Is there some problem? Yeah, I kind of went fast through it. Here. Ah, shit. I didn't realize I could skip through the text this fast. That's proof. If one were to look at that place, I experienced so many trees not so easily found. Some sort of problem. I mean, there's like the rain or whatever, but he, the, there's no real time frame on the body, right? Maybe it's the fact that there's no mud on the actual tires of the Blue Badger mobile. Or is there? Oh, is maybe. There? It's kind of hard to say. No, I don't, I don't think there is. That might, that might be what you need to uh, point out. I mean, let's take a look again. Ah, uh, it looks fine. Yeah, there's no mud tracks in the garage either. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure where you present it though. There was a press where he talks about the rain. All right. It's going to be like, the thing is, is it could be presenting the mobile or presenting the crime scene, and it will be whatever one you do second. <laughs> Nailed it. Or not. Look at Edgeworth, the smart little boy. Sorry, Agent Lang, but that's an impossible tale. And why is that? Those tire marks could not have been made by the Officer Meekin's Blue Badger mobile. A look at the car would have told you so. The song bops. That proves that the Blue Badger Mobile had never been in the stadium. The fact that the tire marks... Yeah, the tire. Take a good look at the tires. There's not a single dollop of mud to be found on it. <clears throat> this car had come from the backstage alley and left it in the tire tracks. The lack of mud on these tires stands out as very peculiar indeed. Then how do you explain the tire tracks, genius? Hey, I've got it. What about Miss Old Deck's pink badger mobile? Don't be ridiculous. I was sleeping the entire time in the second tier seats. Indeed, I believe we can rule her out as someone relatable to the crime. How Unfortunately. However, there is yet one more roving store, as I recall. 
Oh, you mean the proto badger? Please don't flash that picture. That's right. There was one more parking space inside that garage, and it proves the existence of a proto badger mobile. Agent Lang, I suggest you find the proto badger mobile post haste. There must still be some sort of incriminating evidence in it. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, do you hear something? Hmm. One minute. Oh, it's hell, the, the tome from Fire Emblem 4 that sets you to 1 HP. Yeah, that's totally what it is. Um. Well. <laughs> this is a guy, alright? You want to do Pretty Boy? No, but I will. Sure. I can do pretty boy. It's okay. I don't have to. I'm I'm <laughs> assuming this is this dude's son. Yeah, yeah. Because the the murder victim, yeah, this is Lance Armano. Yeah, and it's gonna be like Mika's kidnapped me. So uh Lance is dating uh this girl, huh? Honey. Listen, he has beautiful hair, what can I say? He has hair yeah, his hair is good. Help me. Ooh. Are you alright? Oh, this is something. Looks like we found our kidnapping victim. Where were you all this time? Wild West with kidnappers. It was in the room next to the one I was held in. Ran away using underground and got lost. The kidnappers. Hmm? What is it? Can't understand what you're trying to say. The kidnappers escaped. We're in costumes. Did you see the face of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their faces. But who? One was a woman. A woman? Quite an important piece of testimony. Hey. What are you guys doing? Stop standing around there and call the cops already. Do you just put on shades? But they're not shades. They're just like glasses, like sunglass shades without like the frames. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. That's really dumb looking. Or he just has proto badger eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the X. Oh my God, that's so stupid. I'll lend you guys have what this kid said just now. Consider it a gift. Now you're going to get out of my crime scene, am I going to have to get rough? Ugh, again. You're not big bully! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, let's go! No, 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 not you. You're a very important witness for my case. I'm not about to let you get away that easily. Don't count me- count- fuck. Don't count on me to testify, because I won't. Not for you. That's right, I won't either, you hear me, young whippersnapper? I'm surprised she's not attracted to Lang. I know, right? Hey, calm now. There's no need for all this hostility. I just want to take a statement from each of you. I'm not going to rough either of you up. I give my word. Come on now, fair maiden. What do you say? Will you cooperate? I'm pretty I sure... I would have until he called me that. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure if any guy calls a woman a maiden, that's just like, all right, no, 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 thanks. Here's the thing. Emma will be like, no, I'm leaving. And then Wendy will be like, oh, Okay, well. but like, Emma would be like, hello, fair maiden. And he'd be like, oh, that's adorable. Then Lang's like, hello, fair maiden. And you're just like, ooh. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was going to argue that, but no, that that's true. Fair maiden. <laughs> My, you little rascal. You sure know the way into a woman's heart. Lang Z says, the passage of time is but a fleeting moment, and that lady is young forever. Hm. Trying to outdo my edgy poo with your fancy schmancy sayings. Let's get this over with. So we're clear, I'm only interested in giving you my statement. Sure, just as soon as Mr. Prosecutor leaves us be. Wow, that line just didn't go through. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, assholes. I am, I am about to head out. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Goodbye. <laughs>
Oh, that's it's like fucking swags out. Also, I just punched my microphone, so. Oh, that's good. I'm just. Oh wait, no, I'm not disconnected. I thought I was. Oh no, nope. I, I punched oh. the the sling. Headphone is technically broken, not nearly as broken as Zooper. What happened is like the uh -huh. cushioning around my left ear is gone. I could technically. Oh, that sucks. It. Yeah, though. but I like I still have it there. It's just like you know I have to you know, maybe I'll glue it back on at some point. I don't know. I'm not really due for a new pair. This pair of headphones is pretty sick. I actually um I do have a good pair of headphones for when I um get a like a real mic instead of a headset mic, which is um I got like a, a Christmas present like the like a year or two ago. It's 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 those fucking like kitty ear light up headphones. Oh yeah, those are great. And I would wear them if they had a mic on them, but they don't. March 13th, 2.34 p.m. Looks like we got the boot again. Why did we just walk away from Emma? She was trying to talk to us because she wanted to examine my feet again. She can examine my... Okay. With Lance safe, the focus of the investigation will shift solely onto the murder. You mean the infighting between the kidnappers? Yes, and also the identity of the remaining kidnapper. Miles, my boy. Oh, hi, Von Karma. Oh. <laughs> Tell me it's true. Tell me you found my boy. Yes, Mr. Armando. My boy. We found him earlier in the stadium. I don't know who did her. Did my little lance son hurt? I think I was Pops, actually. I think, I think you were. I don't think I made you do Lance's father, though. No, you didn't. I think you're both at least. He's not exactly the picture of perfect health, but his life is not in danger. He's being questioned right now by Agent Lang. Poor Lance. It must have been so horrible for him. Locked up in it. <laughs> is this gonna be the fucking, like, Apollo Justice plot where it's like the, like, like the rich hotshot kid, like, is betrayed by, like, the girlfriend he doesn't deserve to have. Okay, but in that case, the rich hotshot girlfriend was also a lot more confident. This is like a girl who's like, uh -huh. who knows? Maybe, maybe he's I'm like a really nice guy. I, I was assuming like that that's a facade. I don't know. Well, it was my boy, I can't thank you enough. It was nothing. I'm still in shock over what happened to Oliver. But I have to say, I'm relieved that Lance is all right. Oh, that's right. I mustn't forget to pass this on to Lance as soon as the police are finished with him. A letter. Oh, the way Lance is being chased around by a woman reminds me of someone I know. I almost can't believe you received yet another love letter, you know? Here, take a look for yourself. Isn't this a breach of confidentiality? Um. Viola? Is that what that says? Yeah. Wait. Who's Viola again? I don't. It sounds familiar. Go to, go to your there's, profile. There's a Viola in uh. In Reborn that I know of. Yeah, yeah go, go to. The Is Viola the girl who has like the bandage around her head and she's creepy? No, no, no. I don't think so. I mean, she would write this, I guess. It's not Lauren Pops. Nobody. Um, it's not Sheena. Yeah. This weird um, character. Hold on, is it? You know what? You know what? I think that actually might be. I think you're right. Hold on. I think we're actually gonna see her. That would be. Yep. Yep. Viola Cavadarini. All right. I'm gonna not check the wiki because I don't want to get spoiled. Dude, imagine if she's in this game. That would this that would just be, be like the perfect cold. trial. It's like all three of the Ace Attorney waifus. It's like, hello, we're all here. <laughs> all it needs is Adrian Andrews, and you're basically golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, who else would we? I don't, I don't really care about Boob Girl. Uh, oh, you know, as much as she's a bitch, I kind of like the one girl from the third trial who smoked like the long pipe. I mean, she obviously wouldn't oh, be. Oh yeah. She's a murderer, but spoilers. Yeah. Um, uh, spoilers. I guess no Maggie Bird's been in this game too. You you know it sucks um, because like she would be like 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 eight years old right now. It wouldn't really work. But the the one girl from um, the end of oh uh, the art the Justice. painter the art, yeah the art girl she yeah. wouldn't be eight she would be like eleven or twelve. 
ish. Yeah. Still, it'd be cute to see her. I, w I wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah, her I mean, cute... I mean, like the flashback scenes of her were adorable. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't know, maybe like a cute twelve-year-old Athena. Actually, she'd be kind of fucked up right now, wouldn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of is an understatement. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Very simple love letter. Oh, hey, let me see. Oh, that's really weird. It's from a loan company, Tender Lender. It looks more like a collection bill to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. That's funny. Uh... Please tell me Viola is actually in the game. That'd be so funny. God, I hope so. God, I hope so. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Oh, that's the twelfth one. No, you can't give up, Lauren. Just one more try. Excuse me, but I can't help but feel a bit sorry for all the flowers you've gone through. I suppose if they were me, then... I forgot she has a ring pop. Oh. I, yeah, her ring pops. It's actually is like that suits her from like from like a C character to like a D. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I believe you said that you were Lance's girlfriend when we first met, correct? Yeah, I am. But ooh, it's not like we both think of each other as lovers. But he did give me this ring, so I guess we're not just friends either. I mean, because this isn't just any ordinary ring. It's just like, she keeps the concerned face while also just like licking. It tastes so sweet when you lick it. Ah, oh, it's so wonderful. You mean to tell me that he gave you a lollipop ring? So which is it? Have you guys not decided if you're going out or is it just one-sided? Decided. Shouldn't be the parties be involved naturally, just, you know, no. My father used to work for Mr. Armano. And so Lance and I grew up together. Ah, oh, I said it out loud. I don't see how this could be anything to be embarrassed about. In fact, when I asked out Phoenix, it was, it was it went something like this. Phoenix, you troglodyte. <laughs> Go out with me. No, that's a terrible pickup line. <laughs> We've been together for years. <laughs> we haven't called each other, but yeah, clearly we both know. V very in character. So your father was an employee of the Armano Group? What did he do? And I heard his job was to fly around the world. On Pegasus. P Pegasus? Oh, Pegasus was the name of the airplane. The airplane belonged to the company. Y you had me there for a second. But now it's all changed. My father, he isn't around anymore. Oh, I see. Oh, she's son, too. Aww. About ten years ago, he rode off in Pegasus off to somewhere and never returned. Writing Pegasus to whereabouts unknown. Sounds like the stuff legends are made of. Imagine if, uh, imagine if Tina just flew off on a Pegasus and never returned. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of doing all this other shit with her dying, just like, bye, Sam. I must go now. My people need me. That's, that's what Alicia wants to do. <laughs> Shane would yeah, fucking just... kill me. And, and then we just put, like, um... You just put, like, fucking... A slide filter. 40-year-old... No, we put 40-year-old Tina over in my campaign. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Dude, she would fit in so well. She'd be so cute. Actually, is it 20 years? I don't know. I think it's just a 10-year gap, right? Is it that long? I don't know. I don't know anymore. It might be 20. Who knows? It's been so long. I don't think I've recognized him if we were ever to meet again. I'm so sorry, Lauren. But I won't give in to the sadness. I have to live. Yes, Lauren, live! I think it's 20. I think it's 20. I think I thought 20 was it, but it doesn't really matter that much. No, no. Uh, really. About the incident. Incident? But isn't the kidnapping already over and dealt with? I've been here the whole time, so I'm afraid I don't know much about any other incident. How did you come to know that Lance had been kidnapped? Oh, um... That's because of my woman's intuition. You based everything on that. I know everything when it comes to my lance. It's really strange. It really must be destiny. <sighs> I love the asterisk blush in the text. Ah, she started fantasizing again. So what are you going to do now, Mr. Edgeworth? Well, we already established there's a good chance that the killer is the other kidnapper. It's my duty to figure out who this other person is. I believe there is one location that might hold a clue or two. Um, probably the, I mean, 
Probably their um, hideout, I would assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I don't remember what the isolation room is. Isolation room is where we were. Oh, I think it might be that, then. That was the location of the kidnapper's hideout. But we're still not allowed in, remember? Here's the language men should be done with this area. In the case, there is no harm in asking that officer over there to let us in. Can you go right for a second? Yeah, okay. Yo, what do you mean you don't know about another incident? There's a fucking body outline right there. I guess Lauren's too distracted thinking about her Lancy poo. That's yeah, okay. I like how it's like, can't step on that. Yeah. I want to tamper. Oh, God, I got stuck. Oh, nice. You can get <laughs> nice and stuck in there. This reminds me of Marty I really, Party music. Yeah, I, I really like Kay's uh, stutter step. Yeah, hers is like, good. Her legs go up super far. I like Phoenix's, or Edgeworth's, because his kind of gives that little stank leg. Hers, yeah. like, full body stank. Yeah, yeah. You can tell she's used to running. Well, Edgeworth's like, oh, another morning jog. Oh, God. No, please stop. <laughs> That's, like, the one thing I definitely think they bond the most over is the fact that both of them can't exercise worth for shit. Uh, Phoenix and Edgeworth. Yeah. What do you have to report? Greetings, Professor. Nothing unusual out of the ordinary to report. I've never heard such redundancy before. Ah, oh, yes, Garrick Mock. Hmm, this is it possible for you to tell us to take a look around inside? Sir, Roger, sir. Thank you, Alm. That was surprisingly hassle free. Now to inspect every suspicious nook and cranny. Are you certain? Didn't Agent Lang order you to not allow me in? Sir, that's true, sir, but. Detective Gumshoe asked me personally to let you in, sir. I couldn't refuse a request from him. Wow, looks like Detective Gumshoe has a following. Oh, he sure more, does. Was... Go, 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 go rule 34. Jesus fucking Christ. Gumshoe's one of the most asking... popular characters. It's weird. Ah, good. I was asked to give this document to you, sir. What is this? It's a restraining order. <laughs> hmm, the man in this picture, isn't that Mr. Oliver Deacon? But the name here says Colin Devere. Isn't that... No, I had Devereaux as uh, Eden's last name. That would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. We've seen this name before because... Um, yeah, it's the same yeah. one on the back of the pendant. Also, his weight is a 1, 2, 3.45. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sus. Dominant hand right. That's gonna matter. That's gonna matter. It appears that Colin Devere was his real name. What's this? He was convicted in a case 10 years ago and sent to prison. What? Then what was he doing here? Apparently he broke out of jail and then just vanished. He must have become Oliver Deacon to cover up the fact that he was an escaped felon. Alright, what's the pun? All live? I'm thinking about the prison name. Pen E. Dent? Penedent? Pen penedent? Pendant. Pendant. Yeah, it's a pendant. Because, you okay. know, the pendant. Yeah. Okay. This game's puns are all over. Now, I'm not sure what's going on anymore. This is really some sort of link between the victim's past and this current case. These police documents are rather detailed. I should take the time to give him a thorough read-through eventually. It's fine, let's focus on one thing at a time, starting with the kidnapper's hideout. Oh, we'll do it right now. Okay, whatever. Still gone with the garden and his escape. We thought he might head for where his wife and sole daughter are, but the spire just failing to yet to show up. Oh, he's the girl's fucking dad. God, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. He has to be. The time frame is the same. Yeah, I know. She said she wouldn't recognize him if she saw him. Pops. Oh, because Pops. Pops. <laughs> oh my god. This game. 
Am I the only one that thinks yeah, that I agree. Emma Sky sounds like a Barbie doll name? Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean, kind of. We should investigate first, think later. More than thinking things through, I think you should try remembering things first. Now then, if you could please unlock Ouch. the door, officer. It was locked up until a little while ago, but since then the door's been wide open, sir. I'm gonna try to follow what it is you're saying. Care to explain it in a bit more detail? Sir, the door was locked down tight and when they went to check out the room. So they got about ten officers to help out and break the door down, sir. I see. I guess that means I get Agent Lang's leftovers. Well, let's see what he found. Oh, God. They tore this place apart. They smashed a mirror and everything. So this is where the kidnappers planned their foul deed. Well, you were tied up for a while in the room next door. <laughs> okay, please. Must you bring that up again? Now then, down to business. There might be some sort of clues left in this room. Let's try to find out what we can from the other kidnappers' identity. Alright, I will do that in a minute. I'm grabbing water first.
Water acquired. Water in the fire. Why? Water you waiting for, Gary? All right, what's up? Yes. That is the worst line. <laughs> but yes. So this is a room next to where the ones were held as prisoners. Then. Can't speak you know, I took today. a peek in here through the door from the other room. As did I, okay? Anyway, if this room was truly the kidnappers' hideout. Then that means there should be some clues to their identities here, right? I don't know if there are. However, the probability is quite high. I believe a thorough combing of this room is quite necessary. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Say it again, Dexter. Uh, I won't rest. Up! Hmm. I wonder what this key is to. Hmm. You got me. Reminds me of the key we found in the other room. That's it. This must be the key for one of those trap doors. That wasn't a trap door. You only called one because you quite literally jumped into it. Hey, but isn't that what you're supposed to do when you see one? I am not having this conversation with you. There's nothing unusual about a coffee machine. But the coffee, oh. Cheap styrofoam cups. Oh, looks like only three cups were used. That's such an inane line, I assumed it was Edgeworth. Yeah, I know, right? Looks like only three cups were used. Folding chairs, and by the looks of it, they were probably used by the kidnappers. Boy, you're really a house of cards today, aren't you, Edgeworth? Hmm. There are three chairs set around the table. Okay, thanks. I get it. <laughs> thanks. Dumbasses. The poster of the Gatewaterland is stuck on the wall. Intrigue, fun, prestige. Gatewaterland has it all, and it's waiting for you. It's not especially catchy, is it? Logic you time. know, it, it Lang's just gonna be like, no, I just, uh, you know, my boys just, uh, all sat around the coffee machine. The common denominator between the cups and the folding chairs is the number three. Speaking of which. I guess it wasn't Gaben. The number of missing costumes is also three. Wait, but I thought there were only two kidnappers. Indeed, something isn't adding up. Literally. Lance is in on it. Is it possible that a third kidnapper that Lance didn't see? Or she's in on it, and he's trying to cover for her. What have we here? Looks like a sword. A broken sword. Strange. Why would it be broken like that? Someone needs to take that shit to the blacksmith. Swords don't usually break on their own. That's true. Alright then, let's think about it this way. Maybe it broke when someone was trying to use it for or on something. Hmm. Hypotheticals aren't going to get us anywhere. Perhaps we should think more on this later. Ooh, they have barrels like these just outside. Yes, and? Well, I know I already asked you when we were out there, but... If these were real, what would you put in them? There's an expectant gleam in her eyes that I'm about to dash. This must be where to dispose of old and worn-out costumes. That's so sad. It would seem that they throw away the costumes in pieces. Beyond this door. Where the kidnappers held you after getting the jump on Unless you. you keep reminding me. But it's the room where I got to see your awesome face. You didn't need to remind me of that mortifying moment either. A sign advertising in the photo rally is something I have absolutely no interest in. Yeah, but I do, and I'm going to get my hands on the rest of the Badger family. You'll see. She definitely brings a decidedly different atmosphere to a criminal investigation. Uh, so does literally every single that. person you bring into an investigation. Watch out, Mr. Edgeworth. It's a broken mirror. Probably came from a haunted house. Why is it here? Are they planning to repair it? Usually, um... Usually your investigation partner is uh, Maya Faye, but kind of different. <laughs> uh, um, kind of. I mean, in this game, 
Oh shit. You good? Um, spilled a little bit of water, but that's okay. It's just water. And not anywhere important. Still on the rug, so that's okay. Good. My little weak I mean, baby I mean, grab did not uh, appropriately <laughs> grab the water properly. You'd think working at Amazon, I would actually have a stronger grip. And I have. I've noticed. My grip is stronger. Uh, but, you know, I still baby grab things sometimes. Anyway, what the fuck was I talking? Oh, yeah. I mean, Gumshoe in this game is kind of like a different investigation partner. Yeah. And, and then there's also, like, I feel like a happy middle is... Um... In, in Spirit of Justice, when you get Rafa with you for a bit, she's, a she's got that, like, she, well, she's got that childlike energy, but she's also just mean to you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, she has her pocket encyclopedia. Yeah. No, no, her her vast royal knowledge. Yeah, her vast royal knowledge that she knows everything. <clears throat> you know, Nay -nay. that would be really funny if Sam was just like, uh, 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 Malcolm, and then Malcolm's just like, yes. <laughs> yes, I want to wanna do that bit. <laughs> Except it has to be someone who would actually willingly come over and, like, give information. Malcolm would, are you kidding? Yeah, I guess he would. He'd be like, <sighs> He'd be really slow about it. He'd be like, yes, Sam. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yes? That's the line you think is the dumbest line in the game? It, well, it's not dumbest. It's just, like, disappointing. Yes? Because it's just like, all right. There's more to look I, I like at her face room. when she does it. Yes. <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah, there's more to look at. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's pretty good. I think we already read, looked at this one. It's not a trap door. It's an entrance to an underground passage. I think the mirror is the main thing you have left to look at. I already at. looked at the mirror. So it was broken, it's... I think. Well, that was the sword, right? No, he looked at the mirror. And she said, watch out, which I assume was translated from it's seven years bad luck, even though she didn't really specify why. Hmm. I know that. The wait, outside wait, world yeah. was locked. So Lance must have escaped his prison through here. Yeah, see? All right, yep. Yeah. All right, all right. I guess also watch out because it's broken fucking glass, but, you know. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean... The store is thoroughly broken thanks to the police who forced it open. Thanks, Edgeworth. I won't, I won't inspect every suspicious nook and cranny until I rest. Oh. Mr. Edgeworth, no. That's a sword again, I think. Looks like a sword, a broken sword. Let's look at it Strange. again. Strange. Why would it be broken like that? Swords don't usually break on their own. They do if you enemy phase. All right, let's think about it this way. Maybe it broke when someone was trying to use it for or on something. Hmm. hmm. Maybe the door? Hypotheticals aren't going to get us anywhere. Perhaps we should think more on this later. Yay. The barrels. So they have barrels like they just I like outside. how this Why isn't skippable they... dialogue, but it's like the same dialogue. Yeah. And it's the main thing is like the Like door. watch, well, let me skip it now, yep. That's so dumb. That doorknob handle. That doorknob handle thingy is looking pretty beat up. I suppose that's what happens when ten officers break their way in with brute force. Hey, that's odd. The lock on this is completely fine. Look, not a single dent. But how's that possible after what the officers told us? Yeah, if the lock had been in use when the door was busted down, it was the sword. Then the lock itself should be completely erect. It was the sword. So the lock on the door leading to the outside is undamaged. How could that be? It was the sword. It must have been the mirror. The ladder! Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's the costume pieces. <laughs> it's a bit strange that the police had to force their way into an unlocked room. And look at the pristine door lock and anyone can see that it was not in use at the time. But the policeman outside said it took ten men to get it open. Oh, that guy's probably, uh, probably, like, either the murderer, or, uh... Well, he's probably not the murderer, but he might be involved. That's funny. Mm. Just, like, lol. And he's gonna lock us down here. Oh, God. Hmm, a door that was locked tight, despite it not being locked at all. It can only be because of this. 
Oh, the sword? Oh, you mean... Yes, it was used to jam the door. Here, take a look at the door handle. Do you see how the handle is completely destroyed? So that's how the sword broke. Indeed, Kay. I'm very smart, aren't I? I said that like five minutes yes. ago. Yes, Edgeworth, you're very smart. Yes. Ah. Okay. I thought that we might uncover the true identity of the kidnappers, but instead we've only uncovered more questions that need to be answered. Welcome to Phoenix, right? <laughs> did my did my scream go through the mic? <laughs> no, it didn't. I Okay. Okay. I need a second. <laughs> <laughs> what was your scream? What did it sound like? It was like ah! <laughs> Was it a genuine one? Yes, it was genuine. <laughs> That is pretty terrifying, I'll be honest. It, it, it's kind of how I would just voice act Kay's scream there, but like it was just genuinely how <coughs> I What scream. is it? <laughs> Do you want to voice Proto B? Yeah. Oh god, what are you well, doing? Well, well! Something like that. I don't know. Well, well, Mr. Edgeworth, am I correct? Jesus Christ. What are you doing suddenly popping out of the secret entrance like that? He turned, oh my god. This is an underground passage used by staff members, sir. We badgers also make use of it in our duties. Badger, get, don't you get me? Look, why don't you get out of there first, and then we'll talk, okay? Huh. I beg your pardon, miss. Jesus fucking Christ. Proto badger, get. All right, only one more to go. I mean, that's when you have to take a picture of the face, because if you don't, then you, you don't... Actually, well, the yeah. other ones have identifying features <clears throat> around them. Yeah. I mean, this one and, like, the regular one. So she needs to... She already took a picture of the regular one. She needs to do it from the front. But the regular one also has a thing, right? Do they? Is there, like, some other different... I thought it was just, like, the face. I mean, I... I, I think there was more. Yeah, look at that. I guess so. Also, the ear point. Yeah, the ear point is really the thing. The face is <clears throat> better, though. Yeah, I'll agree on that. It's just it's not, like, mandatory. The, the, the face is the thing that makes it better. Yeah. yeah. Like, all the other ones' ears droop. That one's, e like, ears are very pointy. And the the eyes, it's, it's the fucking eyes. If this game came out in, like, 2020... Proto Badger would be like a fucking like Tumblr sexy man like Sans or Spamton. That like. or or he would be like a FNAF clone. Oh maybe. Parody. Maybe. Yeah. I mean he already kind of is. What are you getting all excited about? Did you forget? The photo rally, duh. See look, now all I have to do is get a picture of the bad badger and I'm done. Ah, uh, yes, I vaguely recall a contest or something of that sort. <clears throat> oh god. What? It's gone. But where did it go? Hmm. What happened? What's wrong? A bad badger costume is missing, sir. Wait, oh, is this Gumshoe? Is that all? No, it can't be Gumshoe. Oh, couldn't what? be. Well, it's missing because the kidnapper stole it. I heard about how they were stolen, but they said that only three of the costumes had been taken. What? Is he saying that more of three of them are gone? More than three of them are gone? Mr. Proto Badger, please tell us a little bit more about the costume you use. <laughs> I have to go talk to the thing. Oh god, what do you mean by a bad badger costume is missing? Why, just what I said, sir. We are one bad badger short. Counting the spares, we have two of each costume on hand at all time. This is just inside my ear despair emily voice oh is it hurt is it that? oh no it doesn't okay, hurt can... it doesn't hurt it's, it's oh, just yeah. it is in my ear because it's very close because you're getting close to your mic for it yeah yeah but as long as it doesn't oh no like, it doesn't, as long it doesn't as it's not... hurt it, it is is, is, it, is weird but i think that's the intention. is it unpleasant enough that i should stop? no no please please <laughs> I, I can think of no better voice okay uh did i read this i don't one? think so i think you've read like the top line Counting the spares, we have two of each costume on hand at all time. 
Okay, so because one of them is walking around in the park... The other should be in that room. Uh, actually, both of them should be in that room. Huh? What do you mean? Normally, we don't use the Bad Badger costume. When have you used this voice other- I swear you've done this before. This um, is like your voice when, uh, when you're like, Ross, I- brought Ross, Ross. I already said that, Ross, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, that's just me getting close to the mic. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm also- it's like a mixture of that and then like a deeper, like, like, soft-spoken gooter almost. Yeah. In fact, we only use them during a certain event at a set time each day. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fuck this. Put a badger there, it's terrifying. It's the stage show where the bad badger wreaks havoc around the park. And the other badgers must work together to apprehend him, sir. I'm speechless that such a show exists. Well, sir, I was just trying to explain to you the only time that we use that costume. And does that make it near impossible to take a picture of the Bad Badger? Personally, I can't believe that it's this close to showtime and there's no costume. Oh dear, what am I to do, sir? All this basically means is that the kidnapper stole four costumes in total. Then, are you saying that there are four kidnappers? No, I don't think that's very likely. Oh? Recall the costumes for a minute. <clears throat> the stolen ones, you mean? What proves that a fourth kidnapper does not exist? A bango. Hmm. If you had four people and you wanted to steal a fourth costume, wouldn't you naturally go for the full set and steal a pink badger costume instead? Yeah, that makes sense. And yet the kidnappers decided to steal another bad badger. I believe the culprits needed two bad badger costumes, but the question is why? That's because we used loaded guns instead of regular blank pistols, sir. Why? <laughs> why? Authenticity, sir. Why didn't they just take uh, the gun? No. They were afraid of the pink badger, sir. Pink is a, the most intimidating suit. Yes, of course. I was wondering if uh, you don't mind. Mr. Porter Badger, how did you know my name? You're pretty famous, sir. I would think that most people would know who you are. Uh, famous, me. Absolutely, sir. You're always very active with the community, I hear. Wow, I didn't know you were such a celebrity, Mr. Edward. Only in the gay community. I feel as if I've met this person before. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, this voice is just not going to fit anymore, huh? Well, for now. Uh, so what's, what's your logic right now? Um, unaccounted for, then costume pieces. Oh, I mean, maybe they tossed it into there after they were done with it. Sure. The second Bad Badger costume, I believe it may be closer at hand than we think. Huh? What do you mean? That costume in the trash. Wouldn't you say it's wearing some very telltale pants? You're right. Let's get it out of there and take a look. As I suspected, it's a Bad Badger costume. Well, minus the head. I watched until I've inspected <laughs> every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Um, you're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, beat! Yeah. I wonder why this Bad Badger's costume's right hand is torn up like that. Hmm, maybe it's a flesh wound from a fight with the Blue Badger. I always knew the Blue Badger was one ferocious beast. I somehow doubt that even real badgers are as bloodthirsty as that, Kay. Ah, look, his hand got crumped with him, sweetie pie. <laughs> look, his hand is hurt. Hmm. It looks more like something was ripped off it. Um, also sort of even. It actually might be the bottom of the feet because, like the footprints thing. Okay. You might have to like deduce what he's holding. Oh, the sword. Yeah, you sword. can see the pommel. Oh. Yes, it sure is. Yeah, like half of it. Eureka! Yeah, right. This is a clear contradiction of the facts. 
Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, it doesn't actually... Are you gonna fill me in or not? Wait, maybe it's not so clear. Even so, it's still a contradiction, right? Or it might not be. You're acting really weird, Mr. Edgeworth. Just tell me if it's a contradiction or uh, not. My apologies. There's definitely something wrong about this costume. If I could envision the truth in my hand, it'd be one step closer to it. Yeah, too bad none of us have a magical device that could fucking holographically show us everything. Oh, well. I still think it's something. I thought it was the sword. Uh, the pendant. It's not, it's not a horse. They, they can't do that good of a fucking thing on that low scale, I think. What else would it be? Why would he be holding it in his hand? It's related to the identity of, like, the fucking killer guy. I might be wrong, but, you know. I don't know what else it is. The prosecutor badge. No. Wait, wait, hold on. There was a bad badger head? Wait, yeah. what? Head was left in the isolation. Yeah, remember we found that? Really early on. What the fuck does that mean? Why? All right. Well. It means it was separated. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about why. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Actually, wait a minute. Huh? Was Meekins wearing the correct blue badger costume? He was supposed to just be the normal blue badger, yeah. right? I think he was. So maybe he was wearing the Bad Badger costume, but then with the regular Blue Badger head, and we didn't even notice. Um. Hmm. I have to say Eureka. <laughs> That'd be funny. Because, like, the regular Blue Badger is the one with the belt. Yeah, we can't really look at what Meekins looks like with the... Oh, I mean, I guess it could just be the gun that's normally in his right hand. I mean, that's what it would be, but we don't have the gun. But you could present the Bible because it shows the gun in the hand in the Bible. Sure, that makes sense. I believe what we have here is an inconsistency. Huh? Between what? Oh, that's it's not a prop. It's literally a part of the costume. Oh, all right. Look carefully. Our costume's not Sounds holding annoying. something in its right hand that it should be. Mm. Oh, the gun! Precisely. The Bad Badger was designed to always hold a gun in his right hand. However... You there! Did you remove the gun from the Bad Badger's right hand? No, I did not, sir. The gun is supposed to be securely attached to the costume. Wow. That's really dumb. As I thought, the rip itself confirms my hypothesis that the gun was forcibly removed. And it's also a real gun. Mr. Proto Badger, the gun is, of course, not a functioning weapon, correct? Absolutely not, sir. It is just a model gun. Yeah, sure. However, it can fire Oh blanks. my fucking god. We need to use them for the first stage show. Seems that a kidnapper also had need for the model gun, my dear costumed friend. Who says absolutely? Alright, whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll learn eventually. It's better if we don't figure it out ahead of time. So we'll be surprised. This this image is just giving me a hernia. <laughs> yeah, I'm just well, imagining yeah. some big blue fuckwad holding a gun, and it's just like, it's hurting. Yeah. Who am I thinking? Yeah. Like, I guess just like a slime? Or blue from Foster's yeah. Home? Yeah, yeah. Or, or a colorblind grimace. Yeah. I think we're about done with this room. So, what's next? Oh, we found a few answers. But there are still a few things left that we have to ask a certain person about. Let's go, Kay. Oh, we're not even going to find out about the Ferdo Badger Oh, we yet. don't care. I want to know who he is. I know, I do care too. Mr. Edgeworth, sir. The one officer just salutes. You gotta hurry, sir. Come on. What is it, detective? They found a blue badger costume down in front of the main gate, sir. What? 
Isn't that what one of the kidnappers was wearing? Bingo. That's why you've got to come to the main gate with me right now. If we hurry, we still might be able to get, get there before the wolf boy does, sir. All right, let's make haste to the main gate. And off we run. I did not think there would be another to be continued in this. This is a longer one than the... Well, we've, this is a uh, longer show than we've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. Get him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Where? Oh. It's not. There's the costume, Detective Gumshoe. Just on the other side of the fountain, sir. Oh, God. That is... Terrifying. The fact that the head is so perfectly landed. Was it out here in the open all along? Meekins, they killed him. Please. Please! Yeah, he comes back in a later game. Actually, no, maybe he doesn't. It's a flashback. It's a flashback. No, it was discovered in the tall grass back there. Was it a Pokemon? Let me show you how to catch a Pokemon in the tall grass. So first you weaken them. We moved it out here in order to examine it more thoroughly. Nah, he, Gumshoe's a boy, so he'll do the catching tutorial faster than the girl will. The girl will jump around uh, with a so marrow for 30 minutes before actually doing the catching tutorial. Thus proving that playing as a girl is faster it's really, really I, I, stupid. I, I, I love the I love the jokes about that that are made by like <laughs> that are like that like it's like trans people are like no mom I I'm, I picked the girl because it's faster God haha uh -huh. <laughs> it's really fun also it, it changes certain things in like coding if you're setting up runs so sometimes you play as the boy sometimes you play as the girl depending on like how it changes specific RNG. But yes, mm -hmm. the boys in the game tend to talk less. It's kind of hilarious. Well, let's get down to it. I would rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Four in a session, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? This headpiece. This must be the Blue Badger's officer Meekins crossed paths with. Oh, the nerve of someone throwing a Blue Badger away like this. I worked so hard to create this character, it's like my baby. Why don't you get royalties? How could someone do this, or how? Detective, how about channeling your anger towards finding the culprits? What if what if Gumshoe is the one who made the prototype badger? Oh god. Would he be the one who deserves royalties? I don't know. Good idea. Good idea. Ooh. Wait until I get my hands on so who are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Why don't you try figuring it out for yourself or a change? Well the obvious thing is the Yeah. What do we have here? Pegasus wings. Oh, it's another pendant. That's two treasures in one day. How lucky is that? Oh, it makes a Pegasus. Yeah, it's the fucking geyser dad. And hey, that's pretty babies made of platinum silver, too. Another pendant on top of the one we found of Mr. Deacon. Is it possible that these two... Hold it right there. I think that's a cool theme. Hands off, Mr. Prosecutor. You sure know how to cross the line, don't you? Ugh. A pendant, huh? This is very decisive piece of evidence. How can you tell? Look here and read off what you see. Lauren. Hey, it's a name that's engraved on this. Miss Pop's pendant. It doesn't even care to hide the spoiler anymore. It's like, yeah, it's obvious as hell. Well, All I right. mean, you know. Actually, wait a minute. No, I still don't think it's hiding the spoiler. Because it says Lauren, and Lauren is her name. Lauren. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's not hiding it because it says it's Miss Pops' <laughs> pendant. Yeah, it's her pendant. Pops. Lauren. But, like, they could at least, like... Wait, wait, actually, it says Lauren D, doesn't it? It does say Lauren D, yeah. And, uh, Mr. D... Mr. D can... Um... And then... D. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, they're really not trying to hide it, are they? <laughs> 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 she took her mother's name after Dad left. Ha, we have you now, Miss Kidnapper. No, you don't understand. I, I... Don't say that. 
please, please. Low, please, I'm, tr low, I'm trying to, low. I'm trying to give you a good, a good uh, chance here, but you're not t taking advantage of it. Low lie. That's the best way I could say that without <laughs> low lie. Yeah, let's go with that. I mean, it's fine. Like it's it, obviously Lauren, it's not. I can't believe you were one of my kidnappers. Let's. Well, like, that means, like, that's actually, uh, like, that's still, like, okay, listen, it's obviously not as bad, like, but, like, the fact that, like, what that means is that his nickname for her is a shortening of lollipop because he gives her a lollipop ring shows that this guy's fucking stupid. <laughs> Good God. I don't know. You're kidding. Miss Pops was one of the kidnappers? Yes. Oh. It, it was me. I held Lance hostage. So Miss Pops is one of the kidnappers. But even knowing that, I can't call this case solved or over. Hey guys, case closed. Get the car ready, and I mean the special one for this young lady. Heh, <laughs> again, Mr. Prosecutor? What is it this time? Are you proposing that Miss Pops is also a culprit in this murder case? What happened? I thought Officer Meekins was your suspect. <laughs> we found it. Found what? That officer's gun. He literally dropped it in the middle of the thick patch of grass. You country police are a sham. Just look at how careless they are. Who are you calling a sham? The officer's gun didn't show signs of having been fired, so it can't be the murder weapon. Hm. So Officer Meekins has been cleared of all charges, I see. And that's when a brand new suspect came walking onto the scene. The murder only happened because the kidnappers started fighting amongst themselves. As I recall, it was you who said that, right, Mr. Prosecutor? Pops, did you did you really kill Mr. Deacon? Now I'm just thinking of Pops from regular show. Oh I yes. Ooh, what does she have on her left elbow? Uh, tattoo. I oh yes, yeah, <laughs> I yes, I killed him. I can't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for your confession. Agent Lang is much too early to decide and declare this case closed. Look at you, so sure of yourself. You've got the culprit's own confessions and very incriminating evidence. What more could you ask for? Miss Lauren Pops. Yes? I want to hear it from you. Tell me your side of all that's happened today, from the kidnapping to the murder. But, but why? I'm the kidnapper and the killer. Isn't that enough? Aww. It's fine if you're the one behind everything, but only if that's the truth. <gasps> now then, will you tell us the truth? Or is there some reason you can't? <laughs> I love I love <laughs> Lang's prey pose. It's my favorite. It, 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 it is good. It is good. <laughs> I've had a change of heart. I think I enjoy seeing you sulk away as a losing mutt. All right, you heard me. Let's hear about all this evil deed you committed today. Miss Poop's confession. Oh, it's a bandage. Ah. The one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. He knew that he could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Romano would pay anything to get his son back, after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money... Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. Yeah. There, you satisfied? She just confessed to her crimes a second time. Oh, at least you have the guts to admit when you're done. I can always respect that much. Miss Pops, is what you said really the truth? Yes, it is. If that is the truth. It certainly isn't the whole truth. Because there is something that seems a bit too improbable in her confession. Man, Lance is being awfully quiet about all of this. Yeah, so Miss, uh, so, so so Deacon probably wouldn't have killed her because she's his daughter. How well do you know the victim? I've spoken with only a few times at Lance's house. A few times, that's it. Um, yeah. Though I met a few times, I don't see how they could have trusted each other. But if you hardly ever talked, then how could he trust you not to steal his plan? That's completely irrelevant. He was playing betrayer from the very beginning. Which is why he chose somebody he wasn't especially close to. Isn't that right, Sheena?
Oh. Well, I heard. She's never spoken. Yes. <laughs> However, Mr. Deacon made a very poor choice. In the end, he was killed by the one he intended to betray himself. Ha! I bet you didn't see that coming. Uh, okay. That'd be the next line. Yes. Yeah. Um, hello? Hi. Is that, is that not the press button? Oh, weird. You knew. How did you know something like that? Uh, oh no. What should I do? Okay, what's wrong with her now? Come on, isn't it obvious? You're making your scary face again, that's why. Why don't you try asking her in a nicer, more gentle way? Hmm. Oh, stop it, Lauren. You're always like this. You always fall for the stern-looking one. That's why you'll always be unhappy. Or maybe that's it. She's been bewitched by your icy glare. Mind your own business, Kay. Now then, Miss Pops, let's continue with your testimony. Oh, yes, of course. Mr. Armano, would you pay attention to get his... Pay anything to get his son back. He would pay attention to get his son back. Or he might not. Why do you believe that? Anyone who knows Mr. Armano would think the same. I bet Lance is that old man's greatest treasure. I suppose he would be doing... Uh, he would be a doting father to like... Fuck! I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> He's a doting father. It's okay. It's okay. You did your best, sweetie. Thanks. I always figured that it was, too. And I always it was envious of Lance for it. Oh, because your dad's... I got this pendant for my father. And I believe that as long as I have this, I'll find my father again someday. He'll welcome me About into that. his arms riding on the back <laughs> of Pegasus. That pendant... She must truly believe it was the wings of Pegasus. Would you mind telling us a little bit about the planet itself? Well, first we capture Lance. Ooh, how'd you do that? Um, that, well, Mr. Deacon did that on his own, so I don't quite know. Bah, and here I thought you knew how to steal people away. I shudder to think of what she would do with such knowledge. Sorry, I really don't know, but somehow Mr. Deacon was able to contain them. All we had to do after that was wait for the ransom to be paid, but... Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. Why do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he had been planning to do something from the very beginning. Miss Puffs. Wait. Mr. Deacon planned to kill Miss Pulse from the very beginning. Was that ever really likely to happen? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? I'm sorry, but I don't quite think what you just claimed is all that likely. Huh? I don't think Mr. Deacon would have ever been capable of killing you. But why? We were total strangers. It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over money. Miss Popes, you really are quite clueless, aren't you? Well, what do you mean? God, could he not be a dick about it once? <laughs> no, he can't. And that's why we love him. Yeah, I know. You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. But I do, and I can show you this with a piece of evidence. This proves that Mr. Deacon wouldn't have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Pops. Take that. Why are you showing this to me? So what about that pendant? This horse pendant, along with this piece of evidence, shows who you really are. The, uh, dossier. Take that. Yeah. Does that really have anything to do with the pendant? Okay, well... well what the heck? Of course not! Me. I suppose not. <laughs> Alright. There's something that was well, very clearly connected to the pendant, and that pendant is the key that will open the door to the truth. It's not gonna say... You don't have to present the wings, right? Like, that should be obvious enough, right? Like, that, like we're already... Oh god, really. These two okay. pendants resemble each other, wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right. They're the same color and they're even made of the same material. I just realized this. I believe these two pendants are actually one. Oh, damn, we slapped her. Oh my like evidence. god. Eh. This is like when someone does a duel in Yu-Gi-Oh! and they suddenly get whacked. And it's just like, what happened? They're cards. Yeah. 
Shall we give it a try? Wow, it's it's totally Pegasus. Maximilian, even. But why? Why does my pendant match up with Mr. Deacons? I love in Fire Emblem how there's like a billion Pegasus, so they literally had to make a plural for Pegasi. But then in like yeah. Roman or like whatever lore it is, it's just, it's, it's one horse. It's one horse that can fly. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe there are more than one. I don't, I don't know. You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine why that might be. No, no that can't be true. So they do make a set. <laughs> it's just another trinket. It's not as though this changes anything. Hm. You lack imagination, Agent Lang. Very well, I'll show you this with evidence. This is the piece of evidence that gives meaning to this Pegasus pendant. Now oh, you do the, the dossier. It would be the dossier, huh? Our lover Deacon was just another alias for this man. His real name was Colin Devray, the name that is etched on the horse pendant. What? An alias? My favorite Jaden character. I suppose he had to hide the fact that he was a felon somehow in order to live. And it makes sense given what is written in Mr. Devray's dossier. Please stop saying these words at such short notice to each other. But what I really wanted to point out was this. This specific section is what reveals the true meaning behind this pendant. Um. No. Mr. Devere had one daughter, and her name is Lauren Pops. That's a lie. That person was not my father. He couldn't come out and tell you he was his father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to secretly watch over you. Do you still believe that that man could kill the daughter he was separated from? Or even that such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot? <laughs> and what's so funny, Agent Lang? You're good at making things up in your head and deciding it's the truth, aren't you? What are you trying to say? Your thinking is much too innocent. After all, I thought of another possibility. Is that so? Well, then let's hear it. But granted, the two of them are father and daughter. But isn't it possible that they both knew that fact? It was no coincidence that the reunited pair became involved in the House of Amano. And the two of them made good use of their meetings to plan this little kidnapping. Wouldn't you say my scenario is perfectly probable as well? So this is his version of how things may have been. You don't have any proof that either one of them know about the true relationship, right? You mean they knowingly committed the kidnapping as father and daughter? That's right. As one really rotten family. Is that really what happened? I better take a long, hard look at the evidence. You got this champ. You know, does it? <laughs> I think the mic actually does work. That'd be funny. Yeah, you just have to actually, like, like microphone settings. It's up a few. Ah, yeah. Here you go. Oh, this is microphone simulation setting. No, it's, uh... Oh, I guess it is just a button, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a button somewhere. Microphone. Here we go. Uh, numpad zero. Hold it. <laughs> okay, I think I have to set the microphone to something. Oh, God. All right. Path settings? No. Tools. Um, config. Hmm. No. I set this up on the 3DS as a meme. Uh, not that. Sound settings? No. Ah, here we go. Let's 
try this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. No, it's not working. Damn. Did I, did I, did I mute? Oh, no, you're good. You're okay. good. I'm just I'm just kind of checking Reddit while you say get this working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't get this to work. Fuck it. And I open up Camtasia because I'm smart. Oh god, please, Camtasia, leave. Camtasia, no. Please don't do this. Don't lag. <laughs> please don't not respond. There you go. Okay. Okay, just press the damn thing. Precisely. And what father would ever willingly kill his own daughter? I've seen a lot of things in my travels. And I can tell you that being related by blood is something, sometimes proof of nothing. You think they knew? Yeah, I don't think only the victim knew. I think the girl realized it as well. And they both knew who was the other person was, but they had to pretend they didn't. Because he was on the lam. He got it. The victim couldn't exactly go around flaunting who he was. Furthermore... Okay. One is a butler and one is a friend of the son, you mean. They probably thought that that was the best shot. Is that what you honestly believe? Of course. Okay. You mean how they plotted to commit the crime as blood relatives? Can you think of a better partner? They're certainly a clever pair. The butler and the girlfriend. No one would ever suspect that they were, in fact, family. Yeah, from the very beginning, they painstakingly practiced these roles well. Wouldn't you say my sneer is perfectly reasonable as well? I believe you're being a bit too overconfident for someone with no evidence. <laughs> Am I? Because I don't see you presenting any evidence to the contrary. Fuck. Every, any evidence to the contrary. Hmm, without evidence to counter him, we're stuck at a draw. Asia Lang isn't wrong. This is an area is certainly a probable one. You'd better hurry up and do something, or Lauren's gonna wind up looking really bad. I know, but first things first. Is Agent Lang's line of logic factually correct? That the two of them really knowingly commit the crime as father and daughter? Oh, you know what it is? It's that the thing says Lauren D. But she goes by Lauren Pop, so maybe he actually didn't yeah. know that she was the daughter. So it's the part where it's like they knowingly did it. I'm actually not sure. Where... Oh, yeah, I guess this one. Oh, but I guess that was on her pendant. Yeah. I don't know, it still might be right. Because, like, because the pendant used <clears throat> to be a whole pendant, right? So he's seen the whole pendant before. Yeah. So he probably just thinks it's a, it, that, you know, she's Lauren Devere. Yeah. That's not it. He's lying. Really? If you take a look at this piece of evidence, you'd see that there is a very big flaw in your logic. Flaw? Are you sure it's not your eyes that are flawed? Talk to me again when you can see straight. <sighs> Maybe that wasn't the piece I was looking for after all. Uh, go back to the evidence. Maybe at a different line. Even why is, does, is this a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Um, I mean, it says. We thought he might head for where his wife and still daughter are, but the spire surveillance he has yet to show up. Huh. Unsure. It, I mean, it might be a, just a different line. Maybe. And then his pendant, it just says, yeah, okay. 
I mean, maybe the literally, maybe it's it it actually just is a coincidence. And and then you have to you're supposed to do it here. I just can't think of anything else it would be. We care, I think. Maybe, maybe. Neat. Huh. Langsy says Confidence is like a soul And words without confidence are but empty shells You shouldn't waste your breath on words You have no confidence in, Mr. Prosecutor Although it's just as bad as saying something in full confidence And being wrong It's actually not as bad are you going to let him lecture you about your self-confidence like no, that? I need to be open for my self-confidence. I just need to think rationally. Bro, I only need to be confident in the facts. Hey, I mean, maybe it's no coincidence because he was his house was being surveilled. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Hmm. They might head for where his wife and soul daughter are. Like, that's definitely weird. But... Well, he wouldn't show up as Con Deborah. He'd show up as, like, the butler. Yeah, so... <sighs> hmm... Hmm. I pressed everything already. Yeah, I'm I'm I am completely like stumped on this one. Like yeah. Hmm. Go go to the later lines. What do the later lines say? The two of them made good use of their meetings to plan this kidnapping. Wouldn't you say my... I don't know, maybe you're supposed to just do it here. And be like, no, it's not probable. Because I don't know. It's a little dumb. It feels very much like End of Justice for All, where it's like, you got it, but you did it wrong. Maybe not yet. We have a lot of health, too, so... We do, but I just want to go hemorrhaging it, but, eh, why not? What the hell? Slap. I mean... None of these really say anything about, like... Maybe he couldn't have met with her because they're surveilling her because he's an escaped convict. I haven't done this line, I guess. I, I think it's I think it's the dossier here. I, I think that's what it is. They they couldn't have met that much at all because they're surveilling her. Alright. That's sure. That works. I think that's what it is. If that's it, that that makes sense. That yeah, I mean, yeah. No. Okay, I'm I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's becoming four in the morning. We're getting that four a.m. brain. It it it's it's like because you got four a.m. brain, and then also like because it's four a.m., you're like more likely to want to just look it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good use of their meeting. Alright, let's do what I usually do in this circumstance. Repress everything? Repress, because it might be one of that shit. Oh, God. I hate it when it's that. Hold it. 
Just our fast presses. Not father and daughter, and here's because why. Because it says, "Oh my god, I swear!" It actually, it could be somehow. Like you have to prove that they are to prove that they are. God, I would be so mad. It actually might be though, because the last name. Genuinely, it could be that. At this point, it could be anything that at least like has some line of logic. Actually, they aren't, you fucking asshole. <laughs> that would it at least would be laugh. hilarious. Yeah. No. Okay. I really hope that Super watches this and I... he got it instantly. Oh, I thought I got it for a second. I just pressed something random. Oops. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's really funny. Why wouldn't... It's not possible because he was being surveilled. Ugh. Fuck, I don't... Hmm. Can't really prove that it was a coincidence. Right. Or can we? Does the letter really... Like... Tender loan company, dear lines for honor, same thing in public deal. Like... No, that... Received from Mr. Ernest Romano. Tender lender, yeah, it's, it, like it's basically just a reference. Um. Maybe they were because of their loan to Mr. Tender lender. They had a loan? Yes. Or Lance Armano had one. Oh, and because he had a loan, what does that prove? <laughs> well, that's why she kidnapped him, in order to get money from her father, which he would use to pay off the loan for Lance. We might be two, like, two steps ahead where the game wants us to be with I that, know. but I think you're right. That's what I'm guessing that's for. Which is hilarious. She Which, kidnapped him. By the way, to, like, I mean, pay off his loan. Thinking about like, um, thinking about that loan company, like, holy shit, I want to take a loan out. Like, like I don't like if I had to take a loan out from anywhere, I get letters like this in the mail. Fuck yeah. Yep, yeah, I get stalked by Viola. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I think they, Wait, I hold think on, they I gotta... learned about your racket real fast and they'd send someone other than Viola, unfortunately. Actually, hold on, I have to look something up real quick. The answer? <laughs> no, 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 no. Viola... 25. Alright, yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, she, she's an old. She's not like one of those weird 16-year-olds. Yeah. No, I didn't look up the answer. Was she 25 in like the third Phoenix Wright game? I mean, this, this takes place like a year after. Ah. Um, I, I I didn't look it up. I want to though. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, I can at least look it up and tell you if it's like bullshit. bullshit and if it's not bullshit, then you know you can still figure it I'm out. Sure All right. Okay, we're in probably somewhere around here. Um, I'm, 
I'm about ready to hear. Kiss my ass. That's bullshit. Can't wait. Can you go through the dialogue again? Yes. I have to, like, find out if this is bullshit. <laughs> sure. Ugh. We might be dumb. Alright. Sorry at the beginning. Okay. That's it. Okay, I can give you kind of a hint. Oh, so it's not that, bullshit. Like, Ooh, interesting. Here's the thing. It is and it isn't. Alright. Nice. It's not one of the points we're trying to make, but we're just doing it wrong. Mm. However, it's one of those where you're you're not proving anything. You're going, oh, but what if? Oh, it's bluffing. Nice. Yeah. Phoenix Wright logic. Okay. All right. So it would be a good bluff in this instance. Mm. A good bluff would be that one of them knew and one of them didn't know? Or perhaps Hmm. So I could tell you also which statement you need to use. Sure. It's the it's the uh, fourth statement. It's the kind of thing where it's like, okay, I didn't get it, but it's also not satisfying, you know? Two of them make good use of the meeting to plan this little kidnapping. But they were in costumes, right? So they wouldn't have actually... Um... Oh! Because... Oh! Because they're wearing costumes, so thus you wouldn't actually know who they are. Eh? Yeah? Yay, nay? I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> no. Okay. So they... Do you, want to, do you want me to give you, like, hot cold? Sure. Hot. Okay. So I, just, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it. Uh This one? You're all set. See you again soon. <laughs> That's really dumb that the other one didn't count, but okay. The kidnapping wasn't planned by just two people alone. What kind of proof do you have of that? Oh my god, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put it simply, there were three kidnappers. Three! Four costumes were sung from the Wild Wild West. Area's back room. Found one of them in a kidnapper's hideout. But as for the other three, we can assume that they were being worn by three different people. We also found a set of three cups and three folding chairs that were used in the hideout. So that clearly points to a three-man group. And I believe this third person's a real mastermind behind the kidnapping. Who? Who is the mastermind? I present to you the brains behind the kidnapping. Um, I think it's Lance. Because he wants to pay off his debt. Yeah. Lance Amano! 
Yes, his abduction was in fact schemed up by Lance himself. Call what he said when he appeared before us. Did you see the face of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their faces, but two. One was a woman. However, there were three kidnappers, which is in direct contradiction to what he said. But, but, I know I only saw two people. This guy's being held hostage. Possibly couldn't have seen all three of them. Mm, yes. About when you were being held, I have my doubts about what was happening then. Lance, would you mind telling us what happened while you were being held captive? I really don't remember much anymore, honest. But if I don't tell you at least something, you won't believe me at all, will you? It's such a. Is that he had a horseshoe on his vest, but it's a chain? Yeah. I was kidnapped yesterday morning. They had me shut in that room blindfolded the entire time. What time do you want to stop, by the way? Uh, I wanted to. I want to soon, actually. I, I, I would be. I would finish this. Uh, but when I checked the walkthrough, I saw that there's another fucking part, <laughs> and I don't want to do the rest of this part and another part. Nice. Um, so you know, we could just like. If you wanted to do this last uh, testimony and then, like, save state it or something. Sure. Okay. Is there not, like, another one where you just go, like, no, nah, actually, we're probably sucking the last one for a while. But the kidnappers suddenly disappeared around the time I heard rain falling outside. My hands were cuffed, but it was a stroke of luck that they left me alone. I mean, my escape and ran away from the room as fast as I could. Look at him, like, peeking his eye out. What a little cunt. Mm-hmm. Through the underground passageway, I presume. <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, I really don't want to recall that horrible ordeal, but... But now you believe me, right? No, not quite yet. Ah, how can you not? Why do you look at me with such icy daggers in your eyes? Because he's a prosecutor, because they all look like that. Now, have you no Agent Lang? A prosecutor's eyes are for discerning the truth. And should they be interpreted to be cruel at times, then so be it. <laughs> There's a sticking point in Lance's testimony. Let's see what he offers when I push a little. Push, push. You know, by the way, I was talking about, like, some sort of, like, um, relation to, like, um, to Emma Sky. But, like, genuinely, Lauren's probably infinitely closer. <laughs> Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I sometimes identify with Dick Gumshoe. The fact that I don't have any money and I have to... I buy a lot of noodles and also I look like a gruff old... No. <laughs> I feel like, though, I would... I would, like... In a situation like this, I too would be uh, an airhead licking a ring lollipop. I think you, I think you just want to be literally anywhere else. You'd be like, fuck this. Well, that, well, that too, but like... Hmm. Where do I want to be? Do I want to be in a crowded amusement park with a bunch of police officers? Or do I want to be literally anywhere else? Hmm. I don't even want to be in that yeah, situation, like... to be fair. That's not even a you thing. That's a, like, literally anyone thing. Right, but it, it's just like the way that she handles it is my, is my point. That's fair. It suddenly disappeared around the time I heard rain falling outside. My hands were cuffed, but it was a stroke of luck that they found me alone. I made my escape and ran from that room as fast as I could. Wait, it was a stroke of luck that they left me alone with my hands cuffed. I made my escape. How? I guess his hands are still cuffed, so I guess he just ran with his legs. Why didn't they cuff his legs? How did he use the? Well, I guess he could have used the thing. I, you need to you need to press him. It is possible um, to stand up without using your hands. I can do it. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking about the trap door, basically. It's it's even possible for a person who's not very athletic if you just like uh, cross with your legs. Mm. To, like, bend them together and, like, do whatever the hell that's called. 
And those coughs in your wrists, I suppose you're all still cuffed in that case. I'm well aware of how chained I am to reality. I couldn't find the key, so I'm afraid I'm stuck like this. Even though I escaped from the jail cell, I will forever be a prisoner. Okay, Regal. Yeah. So edgy. How'd you manage to escape? I wanted to just get out of there, but the door leading outside was locked. Which is why I had to use the underground passageway to make my escape. You, you, what, how, with cuffed hand? All right, I guess so. That, that, that's what I was saying, yeah. Hmm. This is an invaluable piece of testimony. One must go examined. Hmm. Oops. No, no, don't, don't, don't do anything with that. Make sure I do something like that. By underground passageway, you mean the one the staff is using to travel unnoticed? I suppose that's what it's for, but I don't run in any staff members on my way out. And once I was up top, I was busy trying to find a member of the police. And that's when you found us congregated at the stadium, I suppose. Let me ask you then, how'd you get a hold of the key to the underground door? That well, was easy, it was hanging right there in the room on the wall. I do recall a key hanging on the wall right beside the table. Boy, does that bring- Does that bring back memories of our situation and how we made our escape? Indeed. Well, the door is the floor. Although the door and the floor of our room led to an underground room. What a fucking dumb line. Although the door and the yeah. floor of our room led to the underground room. I hate it. It's, it feels like a Dr. Seuss line. The door and the floor of the room next door had a secret passageway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's 100% what that was. Secret passageway under a theme park. Ugh, that just sounds like so much fun. I wonder, is there something off about the way Lance made his escape? Hmm. Uh, the way we went through the underground passageway, we didn't mm -hmm. leave by it. We just pulled up the ladder. Because they lead between the two rooms. Oh. So he would have had to so... climb up a ladder. And how do you prove that? <laughs> Maybe the pamphlet? I don't, I don't know. Where else, where else it would be? It might be one of those... Uh, maybe it's the broken sword? I, I don't know. Because maybe he broke the sword. Or I guess the cops probably did. Oh, but... I don't know. I guess he could have pretty fucking easily gotten rid of the sword. Yeah, no, this is it. You just present it. Like, even with handcuffs, you can pull it out. Yeah. You say that the door leading out was locked, but was it really? <laughs> We're talking about that room behind the saloon first, right? Look, I heard that it took quite a few men to get that thing open, right, Sheena? Yes, that's correct. Then take a look at this! What's that, a sword? It's not an especially reliable one if it's broken like that. Allow me to start from the end. My conclusion is that the door was never locked. It was simply held shut by the sword, which was used to jam the handle. <clears throat> Lance, even though your hands were cuffed together, you could still use them. If that's the case, then why did you not simply remove the sword and escape? Oh, why didn't I? I? I was disoriented. Yes, that's it. I didn't notice it. As if I should just accept such a bold-faced lie. You locked yourself in that room because you had to make yourself look like the victim. But you did not, in fact, possess the key to the door. That is why you use the prop sword to improvise and create a prison of your very own. You've been making this guy to be one of the kidnappers for some time now. I wonder if you've forgotten something very important along the way. And what would that be? A motive! What else? Do you honestly think that the upright, pure boy like him would hatch up a completely pointless scheme such as a kidnapping himself? This proves that Lance did indeed have a motive to commit the crime. And the Pure dead. boy, no. my butt! To put it simply, Lance has a very urgent need for money. This is hardly your typical love letter. It is, in fact, a, collectin's bi a collections bill. It appears our upstanding boy has accumulated quite a debt. Isn't that right, Lance? Uh! 
Looks like it's hard being the son of a rich man, too. No, it isn't. It must be rough when you have to resort to stealing from your old man, huh? Uh, it's rough when you uh, are a, a shit who doesn't understand how society works and get yourself into massive debt. All right, I give up. I abducted myself. Lance. <laughs> the flowing hair. <laughs> it's over, Lauren. In this life, we really are bound to our fates after all. All I wanted was to go with you to a new town, somewhere where no one would know us. I wanted us to be well off with that one million dollars, but now that God, dream is fuck over. This guy. <laughs> oh, Lance. You bought me a ring pop, you fucking asshole. Where's the real thing? You don't get one. Then are you giving yourself up? Yes. I plan to run away from this world with my Lauren. However, God, even... those, these lines. You know these lines have been screenshotted and posted on, like, discords that I would never want to touch. Oliver even helped us with the plan, but then he had to go and stab us in the back. He turned to you. Maybe he didn't want to split the ransom money. That's my guess. The hair is majestic, though. It happened almost yeah. right after you made the drop-off. When we were alone, he attacked me all of a sudden. After a brief struggle, I was able to contain him and keep him under control. We left him inside that room as Lauren and I made our sky have to stop every time. <laughs> we wore different costumes and split up. She's cute. Lauren left first in the blue badger costume. That would mean that the person Officer Meekin saw was Miss Pops. But right then, the old man just had to wake up. I was careless, and he tackled me pretty hard from behind. Then Oliver put on a bad badger costume, took the suitcase with a million dollars, and ran. I contacted Lauren right away and warned her that he had a gun. They had no idea that they were related, so I thought that it could only end badly. I still don't believe it. That person was not my father. Because, because if he was, I... I just killed my own father. <laughs> Lauren, then. Then it really was you. To be continued. Unless you want to do this one right now. No, I think we should stop. I am... I should, yeah, it's, it's late. That is fair. Um, next next time we'll, we'll be able to, you know, finish this, uh, this section and then get a start on, like, the next chapter, potentially. I don't know if this, like, immediately, like, this is the last line in the next chapter. It, it isn't, because, like I said earlier... Um, There's a whole other section. Yeah, yeah. I I would finish it if it was just this, yeah. but it's not. All right. Well, that's a good two and a half hours. So, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my dear sweet luck. You get shot. My dear Noel. Sorry, Birdly's going to be stuck in my head for like a year. I hope you understand. I'm surprised you didn't make any Noel jokes like that. Like what? Oh, like in my campaign. Yeah. I made the one joke in the first Mind Theater where she's the one that, that snow craves you. I mean, yeah. But but yeah, I didn't make any birdly jokes with her, no. You could have made a joke where, like, it's like, oh, look at the cute Pegasus. My dear sweet Noel. Ah! <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to like make too many jokes because like I don't want her to I don't want her her character to just be like Delta reference, but um, I can I can yeah on occasion. <laughs> on occasion. All right, time to go put on the new world and get coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody.